You may have heard about the outbreak of mumps at the College of Charleston. So, how common are the mumps and what do you need to know? Mumps is a contagious viral infection spreading through saliva or mucus from the mouth, nose, or throat. So it typically causes a flat red rash on the face and swelling in the salivary glands located near your ears, and that swelling causes the puffy chipmunk-like looking cheeks along with swollen and tender jaw. For some people, symptoms can be mild or almost non-existent and usually appear about two to three weeks after exposure, starting with a fever, headache, muscle aches, loss of appetite, tiredness, and weakness. If you think you might have mumps, make sure to tell the doctor before the appointment so the virus can't spread to other people in the waiting room. To help ease the symptoms, doctors say, use a cold compress and over-the-counter pain meds like Advil or Tylenol. While complications from mumps are rare, some are potentially serious, like swelling, especially in the pancreas, testicles, and brain. In fact, meningitis can develop if the mumps virus spreads through your blood stream and infects fluid around the brain and spine cord and other complications include hearing loss, heart problems, and miscarriage. Most people with mumps recover completely within two weeks. Doctors say the best way to prevent mumps is a vaccine. The mumps vaccine is usually given in combination with measles and rubella called MMR. This combo vaccine causes the body to produce its own antibodies to protect against the disease. The CDC recommends two doses of MMR before a child starts school, saying a single dose is not completely effective at preventing the virus. And sometimes doctors recommend a third dose for individuals living in an area experiencing an outbreak. One final thought, if your medical records are not up to date, it may be a good idea to ask your doctor about your immune status. Blood tests can show if your body still has immunity to measles, mumps, and rubella.